Since assuming our Republican majority in January, the House Oversight Committee has made historically fast progress in our investigation into the Biden family's influence peddling schemes. In just six months, we have obtained thousands of pages of financial records. This includes bank records for Biden family associates and suspicious activity reports generated by the Bidens and their associates' high-dollar or foreign business transactions. What these records reveal is astonishing. The Bidens created over 20 shell companies, most of which were created when Joe Biden was vice president. Bank records so far show the Biden family, their business associates, and their companies received over $10 million from foreign nationals and related companies. A lot of this money poured in while Joe Biden was vice president. Despite creating many companies after Vice President took office, the Biden family used associates companies to receive millions of dollars from foreign companies in China, Ukraine, and Romania. After foreign companies sent money to business associates companies, the Bidens then received incremental payments over time to various different bank accounts. These complicated financial transactions were used deliberately to conceal the source of funds, and total amounts. No normal business operates like this. What were the Bidens selling? Nothing but influence and access to the Biden network. This is an influence peddling scheme to enrich the Bidens. We need to know whether Joe Biden is compromised by these schemes and if our national security is threatened. During our investigation, our committee became aware through whistleblower disclosures provided to Senator Chuck Grassley that the FBI had an unclassified record that details an extortion and bribery scheme involving then-Vice President Biden and a Burisma executive. This record was generated by a trusted confidential human source that the FBI has used for over a decade. It memorializes the source's conversations with the Burisma executive who claimed that he paid Joe Biden $5 million in exchange for certain actions. The Burisma executive told the confidential human source that he didn't pay the, quote, big guy, end quote, directly, but that he used so many bank accounts that it would take 10 years to unravel. Now, that sounds an awful lot like how the Bidens conduct business, using multiple bank accounts to hide the source and total amount of the money. Today, we have two brave, incredible Irish whistleblowers who have risked their careers to come forward and, and provide important testimony. Thank you all for being here today. I know it was not an easy decision. Their testimony about the DOJ, FBI, and IRS's investigation of Hunter Biden confirms the committee's findings, that there's nothing normal about the Biden family's business activity. The White House and Democrats would have Americans believe that our investigation is based on five years of conspiracy theories. But we have facts, and new evidence continues to be uncovered by our committee revealing the first family's corruption. The Bidens have put themselves first and Americans last. We will continue to follow the money trail and provide the answers, transparency, and accountability that Americans demand and deserve. 